So the people that you grow up around or that you are constantly around or that have known you for a long time, people in your hometown, so to speak, or family members, they see you in a certain way that is, they have a picture, an image in their mind of you and of who they believe you to be. That is obstructing the image that you have of yourself. You see what I'm saying? It's conflicting. It causes a uh, type of a dissonance or even a disconnect. They perceive you as this, you perceive yourself as this, okay? These are people who are, I would say, more or less familiar with you. You see what I'm saying? They don't really believe in you, not like the way that they should, if you know what I mean. So it's kind of like the desire, the will to want and do more for yourself. <clears throat> Those who grew up around you and who don't really have that, or who don't have it to even, who might not have it to the extent that you do, they're going to more or less watch, watch you to see how you're going to perform or how you progress, you know what I mean? They're just gonna sit back and watch. No comments, no uh, nothing really. They're just gonna watch you, see how far you go, see if you crash, etc., etc. But the reason I say this is because, again, your friends, family, and people you're close to, and people in your hometown, they're not gonna support your vision like strangers will, or like new audiences, new attention, new eyes, new ears. You see what I'm saying? So, new environments, new people, new attention. All of this can go into your pot, uh, I would say, as far as developing yourself and developing your goals and your task and mission, okay? We want those supporters and we want that attention and we want to create community. We want to cultivate a, like I said, a community, a sense of family, a sense of like-mindedness, you feel me? This is something that I do not enjoy as a spiritual person. As a spiritual person who's highly intelligent, that don't think like a dumbass zombie who just follow whatever slave owners like teach us to follow or what they what slave owners say is right. This is not fun. Like being a spiritual person, there will be people that you were known for like a long time since you was a child, since you was like the age of two or something like that, and it's been like thirty plus years. And those people that known you for thirty plus years. For example, they only have a false perception of who they think that you are, right? So the people that have a false perception of who they think you are, they know you for like a long time. They don't really know you like that. They are not going to see you the way that you see yourself. It's just not going to happen. They refuse to do that because the people that known you for a long time, if they have a false perception of who they think you are, they're going to try to make you be who they want you to be, right? And they're just going to, like, ignore anything that you share that expresses who you really are, right? And the people that can see you the way that you see yourself, those are going to be people that you meet in the future. This is the This is the problem that we spiritual people go through. We spiritual people go through this shit all the time, man. I'm not the only one. It's a whole bunch of spiritual people in different countries on, on planet Earth going through the same thing I grow through. Going through the same thing I go through. Like, what is the whole point of knowing somebody for a long time if all you're going to do is, is have a false perception of who you think they are and then you're going to try to turn that spiritual person into who you want that spiritual person to be. And you're just going to neglect that spiritual person that shows how she or how he is of what they truly are through the talents that expresses who they are, right? Like there's some spiritual people out there that's like super athletic, right? There's some spiritual people out there that's super athletic. They show their personality through their athleticism, the things that they do, whether it's like gymnastics, all the different type of martial arts and some shit like that, right? Or, or some type of sport. But those same people that known that spiritual person for a long time, it might have been like a biological father, a biological mother, whoever, any, any a co-worker, a local, a classmate, you know, any, any type of lo local that's a zombie, right? The people that have a false perception of that spiritual person who expresses themselves through their particular talents, those people that known that person for a long time is not going to be able to accept that spiritual person 
the way that spiritual person see themselves, right? You know, those are the type of people, the people that have a false perception of who they think that you are and try to make you be who they want you to be. You can't really be around those people. You can't talk to those people, man. Like, and another thing you got to get out the way, you got you to gotta get that skin color stuff out the way. You got to stop following this skin color stuff because, look, it could be people. You could take, like, you could take, like, 5,000 dark-skinned people. You could take a bunch of 5,000 dark-skinned people in Louisiana. And that dark-skinned person that's, like, that's been growing up all the way in Jamaica or some shit like that. That one individual who grew up in Jamaica that come across these 5,000 dark-skinned people in Louisiana... That that one that dark skinned person in Jamaica that in Jamaica is not gonna be able to fit in with those dark skinned people in Louisiana because they those five thousand dark skinned people in Louisiana move different from that dark skinned person in Jamaica. So like this is my point exactly like those who have a false perception of who they think that you are man like it is not even worth it it's not even worth your energy to try to like get those people who have a false perception of who they think you are, try to get them to see you the way that you see yourself. It's too stressful, man. It's too stressful. It's too stressful.